greetings from the vast apostate army to all of our friends, family, and all former and current Jehovah's Witnesses. We'd like to extend an invitation to you all to the very first ex-Jehovah's Witness gathering outside of Warwick, New York. As you may already be aware, the Jehovah's Witnesses have made Warwick, New York their new headquarters. Just a few miles south of the new facility is a park called Ringwood. There we will be assembling not just ex-Jehovah's Witnesses, but the local community, the churches, the media, as well as a surprise guest. We are inviting the governing body themselves to attend. There they will see testimonies of people that they have actually affected by their corrupt policies and organization. They're going to have to be face to face with live testimonies, abuse victims, people who are shunned from their families, and even relatives of those who have killed themselves because of how unloving this organization really is. I will be at the XJW gathering in Warwick. Let you guys know that I'll be heading to New York on November 5th of this year. I am going to the protest against Jehovah's Witnesses. On November 5th, 2017. My name is Josh Kinney. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. I'll be coming from Kansas. I'm Trisha Frangia. I'm an XJW from Alberta, Canada. I hold a criminology degree and I work primarily with victims and offenders of violent crimes. I am going to be one of the ones attending the uh, protests at Warwick on the 5th of November this year. Being Warwick, New York on 11-4 and 11-5. You betcha I'll be there. There's going to be a number of people gathering there who have been Jehovah's Witnesses in the past and who have left. They have left oftentimes because they have come to realize that the teachings of the Watchtower are not in fact true. So these people, they're called mentally diseased and they're shunned by their former friends and family. Anyone who chooses to leave the organization later in their life is cast out of their homes, shunned by their family and friends, everybody they ever knew, and unfortunately in many cases this leads to suicide. It's very important that we let the community know, the public know. See this bracelet means the world to me. Belong to my brother Zach in a picture frame back there, along with a picture frame of my mom. My brother killed himself because of the Watchtower organization and all the mental abuse. Because I want my family back. Um, I want my mom, my sisters, my nephew. Uh, the problem they have with hiding those who commit child abuse within their organization instead of turning them over to the authorities. Dear Elders, this is a formal warning. Now, we're coming after you. Hey guys, this is Gigi for GB. Hey, can you believe that we're going to be in, uh, in New York, God willing, you know, giving us health? Wow. You know, we really appreciate everything that you guys have done. Uh, we're going to use it. Um, I just ordered the printing it, probably Monday or Tuesday. They'll get the proofs and uh, they'll print them out. And I'm going to take personally those, about 1,200 of those postcards. And, and we'll have a hard copy of those. And when we're out there in Warwick, we're not just going to be out there, you know, with signs, we'll be talking to people, we'll be talking to the neighbors, we'll be talking to the businesses, and we're gonna let people know this is not a regular religion like your mom and pop religion down the street. This is a very destructive cult. But I just hope everyone just has um, just a wonderful experience. I know you're gonna be great. And um, also don't worry. Don't worry about the Jehovah's because they're not going to do anything. They're going to hide is what they do. <laughs> and same as when they go to kiosks, you know, and people try to talk to them. Whenever, like, you watch the videos now, whenever somebody tries to engage with the Jehovah, they just pack their bag and leave. That's what they do. And it's not just when you have the camera in their face because 
I like I I have people that say I I went to a flea market and there was Jehovah's that had a the booth set up there and I just walked up and and tried to talk to them and they shunned me and I'm not even you know I wasn't even doing anything I just walked up and asked what are you doing and they just like handed me something and then looked down at the ground. That's awesome. They're in defeat mode. They're already in defeat mode. They're not winning. They shun people. It's what they do. (laughs) Well, the thing is, if you're if you're constantly falling back all the time, you can't win. That's not how winning is done. You know, in the '80s, it was it was the bold proclaimers. They'd have the district conventions where it's you know fighting the good fight, and they loved it. They loved the the persecution. They're like, bring it on. Uh, they don't say bring it on no, anymore. I really don't. It's all excuses, make it. They, they make excuses of why of why they have to report to court and the pedophiles and all that too. They say, well, that doesn't matter, and it's all it's all well. Oh well, the, you know the brothers the brothers uh, have the matter in hand, and they they just don't do anything. And that's why I'm saying, um, like you don't want to stress about a JW because they are. I mean, you got to test reality on this. I promise you they are so defeatable so defeatable they are paper tigers there's nothing to them and there's i mean seriously can you can you even think of like a youtube video or a comment section where a jw was handing it to someone i can't think of it i can't think i can't think of one now i i can think way way back where there was some a long time ago where there was some jw at a door that was feeling his oats and I, cause I, you know, I, remember, I remember back in the old days, there was always some brother that could strong arm someone at a door, you know, shove their book bag in the door, you know, and they have the rolled up watchtower, they'd shake in someone's face like a puppy, but man, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. I haven't seen that recently. That's why they like, like things like judicial committees, cause then they've got you pinned down. You know, I think it's a joke, the image that they have for young men in these movies, in these videos that are coming out of JW Broadcasting. Have you seen these? It's like these neutered men. And this is like the example of like what a ministerial servant should be at the age of 23. It's, it's freaking, it's scary, man. Yay! Go, uh, vast apostate army!